of the de development of Injustice, like it's it's become a comic series, it's become a video game. There's chances of it being a TV series. Uh, what can you give us about the background of it? Um, well, you know, it's it was created by our team, which is NetherRealm Studios, and we created Mortal Kombat. And you know, we did a game a few uh, years ago called Mortal Kombat versus DC Universe, and we really, you know realized that there was a great, you know, pure superhero fighting experience game that had to be made after we did that. So um, we, we, we started creating uh, Injustice here and, you know, it, it really is just like a, a celebration of the, just the whole superhero experience. You know, Superman, Batman, The Flash, just, you know, all kind of, um, uh, uh, you know, a collective uh, unit of, of superheroes, and that's what's so great about it. It's just so over the top, bigger than life. That's like, you know, kind of like the spirit of this game. With that said, what are the major differences between the fight engine of Mortal Kombat and Injustice? Uh, Injustice is much bigger. I'm, uh, it's just bigger in scale. You know, in Mortal Kombat, you'll, you'll, you know, you have a sword and you swing it at somebody. In Injustice, you pick up a car and you slam it on somebody. <laughs> Mortal Kombat, you know, you kick somebody, they, they fly away four or five feet. In Injustice, you kick somebody, they go through a building and land on top of a roof next to it. So everything is just bigger in scale. It's much more of a kind of like epic experience. Absolutely. From the character designs to the gameplay, it's absolutely more epic. So, what can you tell me about what in, went into the the characters and why you chose uh, the the official lineup so far? Um, you know, the first maybe 12 characters, 12, 14 characters were the staples, the ones that you couldn't have a DC fighting game without Batman, Superman, The Flash, you know, Green Lantern. And um, then after that, um, we tried to have some more. Um, uh, the, the, you know, we had to have Aquaman in there. We wanted to make the, 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 the biggest, coolest Aquaman that's ever been made. And then after that, it was basically whatever, whatever member of the team would yell the loudest in terms of championing his, 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 his character that he wants to see. And uh, the loudest ones tend to win. Awesome. So do you work with the comic team very closely with the, the development of that, uh, along with the plot line of the game? Absolutely. Uh, DC was a great uh, collaborator in this. You know, they it wasn't a licensee, licensor relationship. It was a collaboration. You know, they, they, they gave us access to, you know, the vaults, you know, just, just, just unlimited information about these characters. And they let us, you know, be creative with our designs of their characters. We didn't want to do, you know, specific to any, like, you know, Arkham or New 52 or something like that. We wanted to carve our own niche of these characters, and they were great doing that. So by this time, we've already found out that Lobo is going to be our first DLC character. What can you tell us about what went into choosing uh, Lobo as the first one to come out? Um, I think all of our characters are a combination of, you know, the feedback that we get from players of what who they'd like to see in the game, um, our personal favorites and DC's personal favorites. So it's kind of a combination of the two. Lobo was clearly one of the characters in, um, in Mortal Kombat versus DC that everybody wanted to see and we never did, so we knew we were going to include him in there. Awesome, and can you tell us any more about like the future of the game and what you hope to see come in from players? Well, we'd love to see the game, you know, obviously last a long time. We're going to have additional downloadable characters, so they're always going to be you know, new things coming down down the pipe. Um, and, you know, if, if all goes well, you know, we, we this won't be the last Injustice game we see. Absolutely. And finally, uh, will we see you at major tournaments like EVO or anything like that this year? We would we would love for this game to be at EVO. Um, I don't think it's in this upcoming EVO, but, you know, our previous Mortal Kombat games, uh, um, the last one, is it's going to be in its third EVO. So I'm sure once the tournament players get their hands on this, they're going to be able to really have uh, a great competitive, um, you know, matches with it. With it.